Hi guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top, beautiful day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization. And uh, it is Friday, March 12th, 2021, which of course is one day after March 11th, 2021, which is, was of course the 10th anniversary of the Fukushima nuclear disaster. And uh, a couple of people have been wondering why I did not do the commemorative video to uh, to 311, uh, 311, 11. Uh, well, guys, you think I would have learned my lesson about what it was the one year anniversary uh, last year, but if the C word has not gotten me in enough trouble, I am just going to sit here and probably commit more doomer suicide and just uh, without getting into this. Uh, here is the reason I did not do. I thought about it. Now, don't get me wrong. I was planning to do that. That was going to be my chronicle of the collapse yesterday. And I wisely decided not to do it yesterday. But then I woke up to this comment today by John Allen. Here's what John Allen has to say. Stop all nuclear power reactors, and I am in 100% favor of stopping all nuclear power reactors. Don't let anything I'm getting ready to say be misconstrued that I support nuclear energy. Stop all nuclear power reactors before humans are gone, or their combined meltdowns will kill Earth all of Earth, except maybe the Archaeans, and they would glow in the dark. Oceans will evaporate, and Earth will be more like Mars, or maybe Venus, if the heat stays trapped. And here I go, guys, uh, committing doomer suicide once again. My response to John Allen is I am with Book Hermit on this one. Sam Mitchell is with Book Hermit on this one. A few temporary, mostly local events is what this will be. What is it? 435 of these, I guess. It will be 435 temporary, mostly local events. Here is the bottom line. Our fellow Earthlings would have a much easier time dealing with this than dealing with 8 billion clueless morons going about their daily lives. This, you know, this fear-mongering claim that the combined meltdowns will kill Earth all of Earth, the oceans will evaporate, Earth will turn into Mars or Venus. This has become one of the major rallying cries of the human-centric fear mongers, and I am not buying it for one second. There is one place on this planet uh, that, that gives me reasons for hope. Well, maybe including Fukushima, two places, but it is Chernobyl. It, the one ray of hope I see for this planet is Chernobyl. Uh, Chernobyl, how many rants have I had, is the uh, pretty much the single most biodiverse Garden of Eden, certainly on the continent of Europe, and one of the bit most biodiverse gardens of Eden on the planet for one reason and one reason only, and that is because Chernobyl is a human exclusion zone. 
the reason it is a human exclusion zone is because it was the site of one of these catastrophes. I am looking at 30 years now of evidence, 35 years, I guess, of evidence of what it will look like 35 years after this planet uh, is declared a human exclusion zone planet. And I'm going to shut up right now because I've got some hip campers coming in and I've got to clean up this place for my hip campers. <clears throat> Bye guys.